What's up guys, what's going on? Camp out coming at you with a review. Uh, these are a pickup of recent, <laughs> but they are a throwback. These are the Total Eclipse, Ronnie Feig times ASIC Gel Light 3. Um, just a fire shoe. I had mentioned my LPU, it's not one of my favorites, but it is a staple piece for the Ronnie collection. Uh, it's a fire shoe, I don't, don't get me wrong here. <laughs> I'm not saying I don't like the shoe, it's just not one of my favorites, because I do have a lot that he's done, especially earlier on, Vader's uh, High Snobiety, Gel Light 3 is probably like my my hands down favorite outside of leatherbacks, but this is definitely a fire shoe as well. So I'm just gonna go over it real quick. You got a leather toe box in black leather, eye stays in red. Um, I don't think they're 3M though, because they are not. You have, that's just a shimmer of my light. You have a nice new buck across the entire body or rest of the body of the shoe with a little hit of leather and the perf just in the front portion here. The Asics logo is all in that nice smooth navy or like, it's like a midnight kind of feel to it. I guess like an eclipse kind of feel, right? <laughs> uh, underlay is a 3M if I'm not mistaken, or is it the same as the eye stay? No, it's the same thing, it's the, uh, it's a new buck underlay as well. Rolling into the heel portion, you got the same material, uh, your little heel window, Asics logo. These were a used pair that I picked up off of uh, round two. Every once in a while, they'll throw up like some steals. Not gonna lie to you, I think I paid 400 bucks for them. Very, very fire, 420 maybe? I, I can't, it was like somewhere in the 400s low. Um, fire though, really no wear and tear on the inside of there. You could still see the logo at the bottom list. The kid kept taped on, tape on it. Um, a little bit of wear right here by the upper upper ankle area, but I, I don't see where that could have came from. It could be a burn hole, truthfully, because it looks like it's a little too clean for it to be any kind of wear away, because there'd be a lot more pulling in that area. But overall, very, very fire shoe, not too much wear and tear, no heel drag. Um, for the price, I, I honestly, I see DS for, DS in this shape for way more than what I paid for them. So very, very clean. You didn't get the extra laces, which is the only other thing that I kind of had an issue with, but I have tons of other Ronnies that have laces that would work in here. So I'm not really worried about it. Uh, split tongue, same material as the rest of the shoe. You can actually feel the difference um, from Asics years ago to Asics now, uh, especially with the made in uh, Japan ones from the five year anniversary or Kith five year. Very, very different material. Even the leather on the toe box, you can see it, the way it creases and the way it cracks. I picked up a pair of Super Reds also, um, and it, the material just is, is nowhere in the same ballpark as where it is now, which is nice to see that there's a difference. But either way, very fire. You got a navy midsole, or partly navy. Partly navy, partly white, black outsole. Just a very clean shoe, very dope aesthetic. Anyway, if you guys like the review, shoot me thumbs up. Both shoes are mirrored. Uh, if there's any questions or comments, hit me in the comments section. And as always, peace.